Hello Brent, it's uh, great to have you with us. Um, if I just take my seat over here, but let's just get into that into that search. It's been a nine month search. Uh, you, you looked offshore, you looked in international markets and you found uh, the right candidate um, in South Africa. Tell us about when, why Wendy Lucas Bull is, is the right person for the job. Uh, Samantha, yes, today is a very exciting day for APSA. Uh, we believe we have found an exceptional candidate. She has proven leadership skills and she has extensive knowledge of the financial services sector. Mm -hmm. So in our opinion, she's well equipped to, uh, to lead the APSA board into the future. Does Wendy bring anything new to the APSA management team uh, that is missing right now? In my opinion, she will certainly bring uh, different perspectives because of her wide experience and uh, she will obviously you know, put her own stamp on the APSA chairmanship. So I have no doubt that, that she will add value and uh, you know, one can just sense her excitement uh, for this uh, challenge that lies ahead. She's been an independent non-executive director of Nedbank since 2008 um, and many find this strange that you could move so quickly from one bank to the next and wonder about issues around restraint of trade. Was that not an issue? Yes. Uh, they, we were very sensitive about uh, those issues and I mean let me make it very clear that, that Wendy has been extremely sensitive and for that reason she will only take up her responsibility at APSA on the 1st of April uh, next year mm -hmm. and we discussed these issues with the regulator and also with the governor of the Reserve Bank so we feel confident that, uh, that she won't be compromised in any way. When it comes to uh, governance issues and you know I suppose gender equality yeah. was there any focus on trying to appoint more women at uh, the executive level for APSA and the reason why she might have also been given the job? Yes, she is our transformation candidate and uh, we are sensitive to gender uh, issues. But in the final analysis, you know, we were looking for a competent person, a proven leader, a knowledgeable uh, person and, uh, and that's why Wendy was selected. Mm -hmm. How important was um, the African experience element uh, for, the, for, for the job uh, selection criteria this time around? It was a consideration, but uh, not the most important one because, uh, you know, APSA represents the bulk of the, uh, of the combined Barclays Africa operation. Uh, but uh, we, we also are of the view that, uh, that Wendy has sufficient knowledge of Africa to assist us with the implementation of the One Africa strategy. Mm -hmm. I mean, just talking about skills uh, at kind of yeah. a very high level like this, so when you're talking about it from a global perspective, were there a lot of candidates that you had to choose from or is the pool quite small at this point? Uh, we started off with quite a formidable list because we scanned virtually the whole leadership landscape in, in Southern Africa and then we narrowed the focus and we looked at uh, potential candidates in the financial services sector uh, but you are right, uh, the highly competent and well experienced people uh, tend to be fully committed already mm -hmm. uh, and therefore once again I want to say that uh, we're just pleased that Wendy saw her way clear to accept the request. Yeah. You know, one of the issues in the market has been that uh, you've got a very competent executive management team and when it comes to banking experience, but they've spent, they haven't spent a lot of time together as a team. Uh, and perhaps the issues around cohesion, uh, steering a ship together as a, as a tight team um, is, is missing. Have you, has APSA identified this as an issue? Uh, we have uh, total confidence in Maria Ramos' ability to to lead the team and uh, you know she's done a lot of work in that regard a number of new appointments uh, uh, she's restructured APSA's activities the, uh, the, the, the whole Africa component is adding complexity but we are well positioned now to, to move into the future there's sufficient talent and there's a high level of commitment